Hey, what's up? It's Thy Kusk. Sorry if I'm not as energetic at the moment. I'm just really tired and I guess that's life, man. I've been getting over the sickness. I'm not sure if I was sick before I ate Chipotle or afterwards. Don't worry, I'm not dying. But basically, I'm just, I'm just a little out of it and I need to get my energy back up. So I'm sorry that I'm a little, I can't get fully into my persona. Anyways, I'm the Ikus. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a channel that has, that has been introduced to me by two other channels. Greg! He calls his fans Gregs. This channel's called Troom Troom. And they're a trending channel. I, I don't really understand their origins, so I did do some lurking into their channel. And I'm going to discuss what I think their origins are since I don't really see anyone making videos about this. So I want to make a video about it. So basically, um, Danny Gonzalez made a point. This is what made me want to look into the channel. Basically, he noticed that the chips that they were eating were not labeled in English, even though their channel said they were from the United States. You know, ever since he pointed that out, I'm just like, dude, like, this channel's kind of mysterious and they kind of make these non-linear stories that just make no sense. They, like, use lingo a 25-year-old would use, but they appeal to 5-year-olds. And it confuses me so much. I want to tell- I want to say what I think about that and what I think this channel is overall. Since that point was made, I did look into their first video, which was DIY Pumpkin Painted Decoration Without Carving, released on October 25th, 2015. A f like a month after their channel was made, which was in September 12th, 2015. Basically, this video is someone speaking like this ASMR voice. I think they have a Polish accent and they're basically talking about how to decorate a pumpkin. You don't see their face. This narrator stopped narrating videos in March 7th, 2016. I think this person may show their face in videos today. I'm not sure again because I haven't seen this person's face, but I do think that she may still appear in videos just she does narrate them and has her friend narrate them. Obviously there were many people who narrated these videos before the main narration but as I was looking through these videos I couldn't really find like where the narrations really started from each person because the other ones that spoke like in an American accent they just all sounded the same to me <laughs> to be honest so I couldn't really pinpoint each one and the person who mainly narrates today so th that's what's up with that if you can like please comment down below anyway so they started introducing more narrators and more people into the channel on December 17th 2015 this was the first person with an American accent basically um, with that being said, that video is DIY Handmade Snowball Christmas Ornaments. Okay, so with that being said, um, they started showing their faces slowly, I think around 2016, early 2016, and they started making their videos in a more studio-like place, like they made a studio for their videos. And yeah, I don't know the exact dates or the exact videos, that's why I'm adding this in later. Anyways, now let's get on to what we know of Troom Troom today and how they exactly got there. And I think the more incoherent videos started on December 16th, 2016 with 17 crafting life hacks. And this is when the thumbnails got a little more weird. But the video that really solidified the weirdness of Troom Troom was 14 funny pranks. Prank wars! So that being said, I think, you know, they started gaining traction with 17 crafting life hacks and got slowly weirder weirder and non-linear throughout the months until 14 funny pranks prank wars in August of 2017 which really led them into this non-linear kind of thing that they've become <laughs> So 
So now I want to talk about, I guess, their past motives, their motives today, and I guess that what I think their origins are. Basically, I think the original creator wanted to make a DIY channel since DIY channels were probably doing well in the time that she made this channel. And over time, maybe she found some people in college who are, you know, going to college in her the country she's living in. Or, you know, she's going going to college in another country. Or she's going to college in the United States. You know, something's going, like, you know, something involving college, I think. Um, I do think these people are, like, around 25 years old, by the way. I do think that, you know, or, like, 22. Like, you know, they're, they're in their 20s, okay? So, basically, I think the, the main creator met people in college. And, you know, basically, they started, um, making videos on our channel. And they became a part of the Troom Troom with her. Over time, I think that the friends took over and she was done making these videos. And maybe she still appears on them once in a while, but I think she got tired of narrating. I think now she kind of just shows her face once in a while in these videos when they needed like an extra cast member. So that being said I think her friends narrate the videos more now obviously. Now her friends only narrate the videos and you know they also show their faces <laughs> in the videos. Um, with that being said I think over time they wanted to show faces um, to prop because I think they know that sometimes face revealing videos get more views so I think maybe that's why they started showing people's faces their friends faces and whoever's involved with the channel's faces or maybe they actually got a proper studio so to say so they started you know making one using that to make videos to seem more professional. Over time that obviously happened into, um, I guess, cater to other audiences. They started making stories, you know, I guess younger audiences. They started making stories and they didn't make any sense but that didn't matter since they were, you know, catering to younger audiences. So, you know, they got the narrator who has a very um, ever-changing voice and, you know, started making videos like that from there. But they started, they, they still use at like 25 year old lingo okay they might not be 25 they might be 23 but still they they're using that lingo so which makes no sense if you know five-year-olds watching i don't know that that just that's just how my mind processes it you know i think it's weird for a five-year-old to be watching something about housewarming parties but hey that's just me so that being said you know that, that's kind of what i think about the channel i think it started off as just a simple diy channel but it turned into something that was just we need money so we're going to you know make videos that would get views on youtube and we're going to figure out how to make those views and usually younger audiences can you know you know boost those views up and you know be a more loyal audience than an older audience so to say so I think that's why they're making their videos more kid kid friendly so to say you know more kitty like instead of videos that would morally cater to a, a 25 year old trying to DIY something since they're paying their you know student loans so with that being said, that's what I think about Troom Troom and what they're doing. So to say, I do think the original narrator is still a part of it and still shows their face in the videos. I think these people still go to college and these people are probably going to college in another country than the United States, but I think most of Troom Troom is from the United States. So I don't know, I think this, you know, channel is a pretty weird bundle of mystery, you know? Basically, these videos are so weird. The thumbnails are weird, and and they're they they just have like this very bright studio place. But where like how what <laughs> like what's even going on with these videos? So yeah, I guess that's my thoughts on the Troom Troom and like where their origins were and how this channel started. I guess you can say this is, uh, I guess w what I think, uh, well, how I think Troom Troom became a thing because it is something that baffles a lot of older audiences for sure. And it baffles a lot of people who go on the trending page with these weird thumbnails and nonlinear stories. It just, it's weird. Anyways, peace out, hug a tree. This has been Thy Kusk. So basically, Warp Tour 2018, you know, there's been an ad for it already that the tickets are going to be sold, like start being sold on February 26th. 
what, what do I think of this? You know, they used um, a makeout song. I think that Warp Tour is going to turn, you know, into a fuck a Yep, 20 seconds. Okay. I do think it's going to be like 2016, though. Okay, I think Warp Tour is going to be like 2016's Warp Tour. So it's going to be pop punk and overcrowded. Anyways, that was a 20 second ish rants.